Check this out guys, Figma added the new Apple Glass effect here on Figma and today we're going to check out how to use it. So this effect can be done by frame only. So first I'm going to select the text and type in something and then let's go ahead and select the frame and I'm going to create a square on the text. I'm also going to make the corners rounded and I'm going to go with the width and the height on 200 by 200. So now I can go to the effects, click on the plus and let's go here and now I can activate the glass. And take a look at that. This is how it's gonna look from default. And here you get a couple of options. Here you got the refraction on 80. If you increase it, it is going to create that magnifying effect. So I'm gonna go all the way up and now it looks way better. And then here we got the depth. I also gonna increase that. This is going to magnify it even more. I'm gonna decrease now the refraction. So you can customize it until you're gonna get like the correct approach for you. And check this out. You also got here the dispersion. Now this is going to create that blue and yellow chromatic aberration, but as you can see here, it's not present. So because of that, we're going to need to place the text and the glass on a black background. So let's go and deselect the glass. Let's go and select the rectangle. And I'm going to place a rectangle like this. And let's go and recolor the fill to black. There you go. Right click on the shape, select send to back. And I'm going to select the text. Let's recolor it to white. So now you can see we got a little bit of dispersion here with yellow and orange colors. So I'm going to go back here to the effect and I'm going to increase the dispersion all the way up and check this out. Now the orange color is going to intensify and I'm going to bring it to the right. And now the chromatic aberration is active. Now but at least you also got the frost. If you decrease it to zero, it is going to remove the blur. I also can change the light source on these white reflections here with this light. And I can see it is going to change its position and here you can increase or decrease the intensity. Now in order to make this glass even more richer, what I'm going to do is add another effect and here we're going to change it to inner shadow. I'm going to change up the color to white and I can go here to the transparency percentage and increase it and increase the blur. So this way you can add a little bit more depth to the glass and make it look 3D. So I'm going to go with these settings. And now but least, I'm also going to add another effect. And this is going to be the drop shadow. I'm going to add a little bit of drop shadow so it's going to pop the composition better. So I'm going to go with the position X minus 5. Position Y, I'm going to go with 20. And let's go and increase the blur. And also I'm going to go to the transparency, increase it to 45. And pretty much that's how you use the new glass effect here in Figma. Thanks for watching.